flies in day.
this place. I love you guys so much. And I know a lot of times I'm in my I work all the time. But Chavez, this is not my goodbye. Because they did their job. 
they raise their kids. I need, I'm sorry to say it, but uh, his blood's on a lot of y'all's hands in Springfield. And not just because of this situation, just because we know stuff. This stupid, I'm not gonna snitch. What? I'm telling. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling. I'm telling. I'm telling. I'm telling. I'm, I raise men that's gonna make me productive in this world. I don't understand what his ghetto life became a fabric for this life. It's not. It is not. woke up something in everybody in this city. God used this brother to wake up everyone and say, get up and do something with your life. It is our job to change what it is we see. We cannot leave here and leave the same people of God. We cannot leave here and act like we don't have anything to do. We cannot leave here and say, I'll let them do it. I'll let him do it. No, Chavez said, get up off your butt and you do something. Get up and do something. Look at your neighbor and say, get up. Yeah. Uh -uh, look at him, don't get punky. Say, get up. Yeah. If this brother can backflip out of nowhere, don't you tell me you can't get up and do something. It is our job. There was a scripture, and I'm going to go home. I'm going to leave, I promise you. There was a scripture that says, what the devil meant for evil, God meant it for good. Yeah. Say that one more time. Say it again, that what the devil meant for evil, God shapes it for his good. God took this evil, dark, demonic activity and said, even though you did some evil, I'm going to shape this thing to make the world see that they can do better through the life of this young man. That devil meant for evil, God's going to turn it for his good. Everybody here has some evil following you. When you walk out of here, when you get up tomorrow, the devil wants to take everything you're trying to do. He wants to ruin your life. He wants to destroy your future. And you got to get up and say, devil, I'm fighting the day because I'm not losing nothing God gave me. This is your season to fight. This is our season to change. Sit down and buy with all this talent and do nothing with it. Dr. King was minding his business and a man aimlessly pointed him out before he hit 40 and took him be in vain. Leave with an assignment on your life. Do you know why you're getting up tomorrow? From what I heard about this precious brother, he knew who he was. That's why his smile was, was it contagious. You can't smile unless you know who you are. You can't give happiness unless you got happiness to give. Oh yes, I'm pissed off today. I'm mad. I'm disappointed. I'm mad because too many people are walking around taking precious stuff because they don't have nothing precious to give. So I'm upset today. Now when you get up into that political house, I bet you get off your tail and do something now. This woke up everybody. Why? Innocence was wrong. It breaks my heart. 
What are we going to do with this? His innocence has a purpose with it now. You don't get pissed off and get upset and go out here and fight the change and go ahead and leave here. Give me your lung so I can give it to somebody that needs it. If you're not going to do nothing with that kidney, give it to me. So I go to the hospital and give it to somebody that wants to get up and do something productive with their life. This is why God got you here. So many precious young people, so many precious folk in and out. I'm telling you something, this brother's life is an example that changed me. It literally changed me. My whole team, my whole family know this family, you changed me and don't even know it. And if Roger can do better, and I thought I was doing halfway good with my life, everybody can do better. Can you say amen? Amen. Oh, don't get punky, say amen. Amen. Everybody can do better. You don't know the areas that you can measure up to be like this precious brother. Thank you, thank you. So I'm gonna need um, all the Paul Bearers, can you guys head up this way for me? Please. Okay, I'm gonna Roger Moore right next door to the signal gas station. across the street from, um, was it Aaron, Wesley, Ace Harbor, all that.